um, I, I'm very happy that, that we can have a meeting, combined meeting. Um, and let's start with some basic values. I, I suppose we know them all. It's about internationalism and educating international business practices, uh, the global mindset and local global developments, uh, business embeddedness, leadership competences, uh, business decision making, innovative solutions, not to forget, uh, to complex challenges and uh, comprehensive leadership. And uh, we have Sultan to uh, share with us, so go ahead. So the question was, what worked well this year, which was different from previous years? In my case, I start to observe uh, from year to year that the Younger the people they are, the less they can actually give helpful feedback to each other. Uh, it is very often condensed into a thumbs up or a number. And in my course, they get to know each other in groups, they discuss cases, they do activities, they get their own leadership profile and so on. But due to COVID, I um, played around like Jacek also in forming groups of four to five people in which they had to give each other peer coaching and um, they had to formulate something they want to get their success on or their advice on. Typically, and that was interesting, they were very net defensive. It was around the fear of failure uh, on what they're not good at. And the outcome, which I have perceived, and it was really good, is that they got a positive feedback from each other. It was one-to-one -one in a circle, uh, A to B, B to C, C to D, and so on, under my supervision. It was fully online. It was uh, quite psychologically intimate, and I was really proud that they made this big change from um, just giving a few sentences to having to speak 10 to 15 minutes one-to-one -one, uh, between each other. And the outcome is for me that I should not call it peer coaching. They were afraid of this word, of this responsibility. Next year, we'll call it peer conversation. But I think it is uh, very much uh, in sync with my understanding of what global leadership is increasingly, which is not just geographical, organizational, but actually uh, I expect these uh, brilliant, young, talented people to be able to lead anybody. And by global, I mean uh, the diversity of human uh, people whom they interact with. And I think also that leadership is increasingly going to be horizontal from peer to peer. So that this worked pretty well. It took away lots of time uh, from the class times and me as well. But ultimately, this is what they will really remember and made a breakthrough for them in the year to come or so. So when it comes to evaluation, maybe some of them will say, yeah, we didn't learn anything. But it started uh, years before that, that on graduation balls, they come back and they tell me, Professor, I remember your course. It was most useful now that I started to work. So this is what I wish all also to share with you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Zoltana. I, I think feedback is really a crucial thing for leaders and, and to be able to give feedback and even to um, to accept feedback. Um, that's important. <laughs> that's important. Uh, and based on these Sam's values, three years ago, we had a meeting with the faculty group in Barcelona. And there we have discussed the framework again for the global leadership course. And this is what, what came out of it. And what you see here is just uh, the individual on local level, the region and the global. So here is more or less the global leadership part. Um, and there you see that it is about uh, people in a global uh, world that are acting local and as individuals. Um, taking care for the planet, which is also related to different geographical cultures, so planet and cultures. And here, the business challenges with prosperity. And then here we have the partnerships uh, and peacefulness. So this is more or less what SEMS is about. When I have a look on the framework that is presented by the academic directors, um, how to manage people in international settings, that's, that's more or less the idea. Uh, and I suppose we are no more or less with this framework. Then you see also leadership perspectives from multicultural settings. So the multicultural part, uh, the global awareness is there. Uh, leadership styles, more specifically different leadership styles, transactional, transformational, cultural. 
Uh, then again, the organization culture is in a global world, which is related to the sense values. Organization culture, again, the human behavior and leading by development and learning. That's interesting because it has to do with uh, change management strategies. And uh, this is a clear choice to do it in a dialogue or learning or development way and not in a, in a power game, by example. Um, also focus on team dynamics, social behavior, and individual and social dynamics. So it's interesting that in Barcelona we developed the global leadership perspective uh, related to the SEMS values. Then last year this framework was presented and that relates pretty well. So I think that's good. But cross-cultural management is still an important part for our courses. Although many universities have a specific course on cross-cultural management, international leadership, of course, international organization behavior, organization exchange and uh, uh, development, and, and then more the ethical content. So these are the main topics. And my conclusion is that these are pretty good aligned with sense values. And um, I like this one, uh, professional destiny, this is an interesting map. It's the world of experience with many nice places. You see here in the middle, the city of chains. Uh, uh, here you see sources of inspiration, grow, happiness, uh, 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 welcome, sea of possibilities. And what I asked students is to look at a map and where they feel they are right now. And by example, they may say, well, I, I feel I'm here. That's the area of guarantee. I feel in guarantee, and many students felt in guarantee disconnected. Then the second step is look where you like to go. And by example, they say, well, I would like to go there. This is play, this is love, this is connecting, this is learning, and I want to learn. And then I ask them, look for two places in between and draw your path. And then this is more or less what, what they do. So the storyline in this part is, I feel in guarantee, I feel lost, I feel locked up, I feel like in a prison, I miss my social contacts. Uh, I realize uh, I have to, to go on a journey over the mountains to self-knowledge, to understand myself better, and then take risk and go to the level of uncertainty here, and then able to play and learn and symphony and connect with others. And, what helps is when they share this in the team, they work in, and they're really helpful to, to, well, to find a professional destiny. So some examples that worked very well. So um, thanks a lot remotely as well. And I would like to encourage the idea that we um, should maybe organize these meetings uh, more often. Um, so um, let's say that like every three months or something like that, and the, because I, I, I would say it's extremely valuable and supportive as I feel it that um, we, can, we can see um, like people from all around the world to, to, to do a similar course and uh, uh, not only the, the, the different approaches, but um, a nice ideas we can even implement in our course. Uh, it's really nice um, to... Mm, to get to know you all and, and, and to, to see you. Well, then for me, the final word this time, I, I think. Um, thank you for attending, uh, especially also the uh, academic directors. I see that Mirik is still there, one of the most supportive academic directors. Wonderful you joined the whole session with us, as always, I can say, but also the other academic directors to see what we are doing as faculty group, uh, how we work, uh, how we how we really motivated to deliver quality in our courses, and then hope to see you in Prague. So thank you very much, and see you next time. Ciao ciao. Thank you all, and see you. Thank you. Bye.